Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back. Well, last time I think I was trying to confuse you guys with these functions and procedures, but well, um, you know, it's time for me to teach you more about it. And uh, well, uh, this time I want to teach you about uh, arguments and return values. So functions or procedures, as I told you, they allow you to um, reuse code. And to keep and to make your code more readable because you can uh, just let's say define or make your own functions down here and whenever you want to use it you just call it and this is calling a function and this is making a function or defining a function defining a function or procedure and this is calling a procedure so yes but you know you you can pass you you, uh, you can pass uh, values to to procedures and you can also get values from procedures and this is um, what this tutorial is about today this tutorial is about uh, passing arguments or passing values because values they're called arguments when you're passing them to procedures and getting those values back so um, this is what we're gonna do right here um, I'm gonna make a simple I'm not going to use this right here. I don't want to use this message because I don't want to make this tutorial kind of complicated. So, um, you know that right here, I'm going to make, and this, this method right here is going to be, let me delete, delete this right here, add numbers. And as the name implies, this is going to add to numbers. So, um, what are the numbers? What are the numbers that I want to, what are the numbers that I want to add? Okay, so we have to pass those values as arguments to the function. But how? How do we pass them by uh, as values? How do we do that? Well, by convention, you don't have to, but by convention, and this is the good way to do it, we use these registers right here, the A registers to pass arguments to functions, to pass values. So we have four of them. We have A0, A1, A2, A3. So let's say we want to add two numbers. We want to add two numbers together. So what we do is that we have to put the values in in those registers in 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 the A registers. So we want to say at immediate the sign A1 for example um the sign 0 comma let's say I want to add 50. Okay? And this is going to be my first argument. So 50 is going to be stored in A1. So this is going to be my first argument for the function. The first number that I want to add. And the second number is going to be in A2. Add immediate dollar sign A2, comma, dollar sign 0. And the number is going to be 100. So right now I have A1 has 50 and A2 has 100. And I want to know... I want to know the answer. I want to know uh, what the answer is. So now I can use these registers inside the function, inside the procedure at numbers. So let me delete this. I'm going to need it, but I'm going to tell you right now. So let me define the function at numbers. I'm going to delete this too because I want to just make it clear. So I'm making my function right here at numbers. This is the label, and then I'm going to say, okay, add the sign V1 the sign A1 the sign A2. Jump register the sign RA. So what this means is that um, you, I'm storing the I'm adding like this number 50 and this number 100. So this is addition, and the sum or the result is going to be stored in V1. But why V1? Well, by convention, uh, programmers they decide to store uh, the the sum in V1 because this is for return values. So we're going to use V1 in main function uh, or in the main procedure to actually um, see the result or to see the sum. So finally, we have to say jump register dollar sign RA to go back to the, to the calling place. 
So we, we should see 150. So now let's test it. So what we do now is that we come here and we want to print out the value. So we say loading media dollar sign v0 comma 1 to print an integer. And uh, we say add immediate dollar sign a0 uh, dollar sign um, 0. That, I mean, uh, not 0, but dollar sign v0 comma 0. Or v1 actually, because the value is in v1. So finally we do Cisco. And then we should see 150 down there. So save, run, assemble, clear, execute. And voila, 150. So this is just teaching you how to use convention. If you want to pass arguments to a function to give it arguments or values, always use the A registers. In this case, I used A1 and A2. And when you do the calculation and you want to give it back to the color or the main function, use the V register. So that's why I store the result in V1. And here I just printed I just printed out uh, the sum or the result using v, v, V1 as, as the argument. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and well see you next time, right? I have a, have a, have a good day.